Our coverage continues of a deadly shooting at a fraternity house near the campus of Youngstown State University. Today, Governor Kasich plans to visit the campus to discuss the tragedy with Youngstown's mayor and the university's president. 25-year-old Youngstown State senior Jamail Johnson was shot and killed at a house party early Sunday. Eleven other people were wounded there. News Channel 5's Dan Haggerty is in Youngstown. He joins us with new details, including what's next for the suspects. What can you tell us, Dan? Well, Leon, the arraignment for those two suspects was scheduled for this morning. It has been postponed, though. The prosecutor told us the police could be pursuing more charges. So it's been rescheduled for tomorrow morning at 1030. Two charges guaranteed to be on that arraignment, though, aggravated murder and assault. You mentioned some of the specifics off the top. Again, though, that senior 25-year-old Jamail Johnson shot several times and killed. Eleven others also shot. Police have arrested 19-year-old Braylon Rogers and 22-year-old Columbus Jones Jr. The prosecutor says that Rogers has an undisclosed juvenile record. What we know about Jones Jr., he has a prior felony conviction, but we weren't given many more specifics. Here's what the prosecutor had to say in a meeting with us earlier today. Listen here. We have two depraved individuals who chose to shoot into a group of people. Uh, one person who was acting as a peacemaker uh, lost his life, a young man who was scheduled to graduate this May, and 11 other people were wounded as a result of these criminal acts. And the shooting happened at an off-campus Youngstown State fraternity house after an altercation at the party there yesterday morning. The suspects, according to police, returned an open gunfire into a crowd. Again, 12 people were hit total. Johnson, he was killed. A 17-year-old girl was shot in the head. She's in critical condition. Two other people were shot in the abdomen. They're being treated. Eight others were shot but released from the hospital with uh, minor injuries. Again, gunshot wounds, though. Uh, six of the victims were students at Youngstown State. Police, though, believe they have their suspects in what might turn out to be a death penalty case. You mentioned it also, Leon, that Governor Kasich going to be here a little bit later today. They're expected to have a news conference around 4 o'clock. We're hoping to find out some more about the investigation then. For now, reporting live in Youngstown, I'm Dan Haggerty. Leon, back to you. Thank you, Jason. Uh, thank you, Dan. I'm sorry. Thank you, Dan Haggerty. And we'll look for your reports later on today on Live on 5 and, of course, on our 6 o'clock news. We appreciate your work there.